one light's correct. Oh my, it's one of these things. Okay. Access denied. Nine. Nine? Oh, what? I only have nine tries. Okay. Pen and paper. Okay, so. Yeah, I can write this, sure. Okay, so, we know that at least one light has, so there are five lights, right? One, two, three, four, five. We know that at least one of them has to be yellow. One has to be yellow. We don't know which one yet. So, I suppose. Mm, what's the best way to go about this? We've got nine tries to figure this out. Let's see. I suppose first maybe just change a couple. And we could, like, how many colors are there? Or actually, this is more of an orange than the yellow. So we've got orange, blue. Green, red, and that's it. Four colors. Okay. Okay. So, what if. Here, we'll start by. Okay, we could guarantee figure out which one is the one orange one within we could guarantee figuring that out within four tries if we do it one at a time but then repeating that process for all of the other lights especially when we don't know exactly which color they would have to be could be a bit of tough mm. all right let's try two at a time there we go so Okay, so, so if we did yellow, 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 that's one correct. Four wrong. What if we did this? Let's try this. What do we get? One light is correct on blue, yellow, 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 blue. Okay. So, that could mean one of two things. It could mean that one of the three, or orange, sorry, but we're just calling it yellow for consistency at this point. It could mean that one yellow light, that one of the three yellow lights that we left on is indeed the correct yellow light. Or it could mean one of the blue lights is correct and we switched off the yellow light. So... To test that theory, we will now switch all of the yellow ones to green. And see what that gets us. Zero lights correct. Okay, that's helpful. So if blue, green, 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 blue, that's all incorrect. Zero correct. So that tells us with certainty that the two far ones are not blue. It also tells us that the three middle ones are all not green. Good to know, good stuff. Okay. It also does tell us that one of the three middle ones must be yellow. Okay, so the yellow one must be one of the three middle. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Alright. Now then, if we... Let's see. It... Okay. 
So what do we know so far? We know that yellow has to be among the three bell. Yellow, there is one yellow in the entire thing, and it is in the three middle ones. Somewhere. Okay. It is in the three middle. We also know that if there are any greens, it's not... If there are any blues or green, if there are any blues, they're not in the edges. If there are any greens, they're not in the middle. Okay. So, I say... Let's try greens on the edges. And we keep green in the middle, maybe. Well, this would just tell us if there is green. I say green, 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 red. One light is correct. Okay. Now then. What does this tell us? It tells us that either the red light or the green light is correct on the edge. Which one? My personal logic would tell me it's probably the green light. Because we know green lights can't be in the middle, and if it's a red light that's correct... Then that would mean there is no green at all. Which to me seems like it might... Seems like it might be unlikely, but there it could be possible. Okay. So we know that... Okay. Now then, from here... Let's try the middle a bit now. So we'll try... Let's try blue... Blue... A yellow... Now then... And I say flip the... Green... Well, we'll flip... This red to green, this green will also flip to red. One light correct here. Okay. So red, yellow, blue, blue, green. Okay, one correct. I have no idea which one, though. Could be a yellow, could be a blue, could be the red, could be the green. Hmm. Okay. Where to go from here? Let's keep trying to solve the middle. Let's put a red in the middle here. And see... If... That changes anything. One light correct. So, we know for certain. Alright, if that just that one change didn't change anything, then we know that in the very middle. Okay, I think we've figured out what the very middle it is probably now. Because we just changed that one thing, and it's still one correct. Which means, because I don't think there are two correct things for the answers for the same 
space. That means that there is... It's not a blue. It's not a red. And it's definitely not a green in the absolute middle, so it has to be yellow. Okay, that also means that this second yellow we've had here is also wrong. So this has to be yellow. We've figured this one out. This one has to be something other than yellow. And one of these other things is correct. We'll try a blue. And... Yeah. Two lights correct now. Okay. So, that one is red, blue, yellow, blue, green. And this is too correct. So, I'm pretty confident in stating that this yellow in the middle is definitely one of the correct ones. Now then, the question is, what is the other correct one? We know it can't be the second one here, because... We change just the yellow one and that one, which I'm very confident in the yellow one, the, this one I'm less confident in, and theoretically nothing changed with the blue yellow. So the second one is definitely not yellow, it's definitely not blue. It can't be green because we had green there when it was all wrong, which means that leaves only red possible for the second one. We only have three tries left. So, red, yellow, so red, red, yellow, blue, green. Three lights correct, okay. Red, red, yellow, blue, green. Three correct. Okay, so I'm very confident now. Red is def- the second red is correct, the yellow in the middle is correct, that's for certain. Now then, of these other variables, let's see. Hmm. Which one do we try to change next? Okay, so we know that our first attempt was correct because of the yellow. Our second attempt was- Okay, there we go. First tech correct because of yellow. Second attempt, correct because of yellow. Third attempt was all wrong. Fourth attempt... Let's see. What did that share with this? Let's see. We, our fourth attempt was green, 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 red. And then we went to this one. So something like this one was correct. We know it's not the green in the middle. Then we've had this red and green here for the whole time, as well as this blue. So we gotta change one of those. We could try to start with... the edges, I suppose. Because we know the edges can't be blue and they can't be yellow, so they're both either green or red. So if we change one of these, two tries left. Okay, now let's think about this. So if we change this one to say red, what will that tell us? If we get four correct, then that means we know for certain that this red is correct. And then it's just figuring out whether this blue was correct, or this other red was correct. Now the thing is... Mm -hmm. Okay, I kind of actually... What if we change the first one to green instead? That's what we did. If we change this first one to green, then we'll know for certain... Wait, wait, no, no, we figured out the... Wait, what did we figure out? I've lost track now. Hold on, hold on, no, 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 no. We figured out with a... Yeah, okay. If we change this first one to green, then if that's correct... 
then I th okay let's try this four correct okay four correct on green red yellow blue green okay so we know for certain first light is green second light definitely red third light definitely yellow now the question is is it the blue or the green that is correct hmm So I'm going to look, so we've had green here, and that was one correct, or wait, no, we've had green here, and that was one correct. We've had... Hmm. Okay. One try left, okay. All right, so we've had one correct. So on zero correct, nothing was in the current position. On one of our one correct things, we had the first one wrong, the second one wrong, the third one wrong, and then it could have been the fourth or the fifth. We haven't really changed those around, unfortunately. Hmm. I guess, okay, I don't think there's any way we can do this now without being, with being completely certain. But we can see, kind of play the odds a bit. So we know for sure the last one can't be blue. We also know for sure it can't be red. And we also know for sure it can't be yellow. So logic would then state it must be green, right? Yeah, because if it can't be yellow, because the, the one yellow is in the middle, and it can't be red, because we had one correct when we put in the green at the front, and it can't be blue, because when we had blue there, it was all incorrect, This the last one has to be green. So that means we have to change the blue one. Okay, so now let's think, what do we change it to? We know for certain it can't be yellow, because we know that the only yellow is that yellow in the middle. We also know for certain that it can't be green because when we had a green there, zero were correct. Now then, if it's not blue, if that's what we're going with, then the only other option is that it must be red. And here we go. Five lights correct. <laughs> there we go. Access granted. Ooh, okay, let me just write that down because I feel very good with myself right now. Okay, so the correct combination was green, red, yellow, red, green. Aha! Okay, man, that took some doing, but we did it. Love logic. Okay. And what's this area? Uh, hello, sir. <gasps> My robot! What happens? I don't know. I left for a minute and... Okay, well, what's here to see? What have we here, perhaps? Hello, scientists. Huh, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his work. The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up some disruptions in Sector B of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. Not good at all. There's sure a lot of computers here, and they look important too. Monitoring, monitoring. I'd press all of the buttons, but I must resist. Oh, those squares, particles, they just took out two of my robots in the glen. 
might have to put off the water analysis project for now. Oh no, not those robots! I knew them! Poor little robots. I cannot stop spinning! These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particles and omnibus is almost impossible to reverse. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs. Or head. Okay. This is so tedious. I missed the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now the robots have to be assembled by actual people. Uh, but aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV. <gasps> yeah! Thanks for bringing that up, Nico. That has kind of confused me about this game for a bit. Well, what does that have to do with anything? Uh, never mind. Yeah, I always wondered why these people had strange heads. I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Who's Dr. Silverpoint? None of us have been sleeping very well in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last weekend. She fell asleep. Coffee machine, it's almost empty. Hello? Oh, shoot! If I had known uh, you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the darned lock. <laughs> Hello there. Uh, sorry about the weird security measures. Uh, it's okay. Alex helped me solve it. <gasps> Did they now? <laughs> so, uh, can I help you with anything? Yeah. Do you know how I can get a library card? A library card? Uh, you'll have to ask uh, the library for that. I tried. I need to s it's, uh, to see the head librarian, but I can't get to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out the library cards. Really? Heh. <laughs> that sounds like George, all right. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, you caught me on a bad day. Oh. Wait, I know. Uh, I can just give you my library card. It won't be hard for me to get another one. Oh, wow, thanks. There, you're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. Uh, I forgot the front desk library bots have facial recognition. And my photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face? Um... That was a joke. Uh, who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Yeah. Uh, something is poking out from the shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Uh, never know when you need to glitter things up, right? Oh, are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Oh, thank you. It's a bookshelf. So, uh, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Mm-hmm. Jeez, I can't imagine. Uh, do you really get... Do you get really tired sometimes? Uh, kinda. But I don't mind, it's actually really pretty. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with uh, the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh, uh... You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I, ac I have actually seen. Oh. Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher. All I do is stay here and build robots. They're the ones exploring the world. I just write down the data. Crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right, uh, I've been uh, seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. That's not far from the truth, actually. Uh, but I, 
I know someone who still does his research firsthand. Oh. Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Oh, that's... I asked him uh, about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. Uh, but f for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or, or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me? I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... Uh, it's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Yeah. We have a library card. Glitter glue. Okay. Uh, hey Alex. Uh, doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost wanted to ask her about it. Should I? Oh, that's... How did you get this? Uh, this robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looks uh, kinda like you. I see. <sighs> it was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based her on myself, so I'll know it works. A breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person. Thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh. But turns out you can't really build something like that. Uh, too many contradictions in the code made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Scariest day of my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't even come back. She won't even answer my letters. I'm sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. Uh, you should hold on to that amber, okay? Uh, I will. What about this book? Do you know anything about it? Uh, don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliché, but true. 